Hey guys, this is Dave Danger. We're gonna do some uh, dumpster diving today. Let's see. <laughs> it's like, just kidding. We're not gonna do any dumpster diving. Uh, it's pretty crazy. I do watch these people. I think they're based out of Maryland here, like me. And they do do dumpster diving, and they do find a lot of crazy stuff. Um, it's pretty interesting. So there are some people that definitely find stuff in the dumpsters every day just so they can sell it which is pretty cool but it's not what we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna go to the store the thrift store and we're gonna buy stuff like we always do join me on the inside oh and we got some packages that we got to take to the post office not a lot just a few uh, a few random Mercari sales I'm already shipped out all my eBay stuff so uh, join me on the Hey guys, it's Dave Danger, Chesapeake Bay Thrifters. Thanks so much for joining me on the inside. Um, glad you guys stayed with me to see what we picked up. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple things that we picked up from the store the other day. But um, I also want to talk a little bit about some rumblings and things that I've been hearing about eBay and um, some other stuff that I just want to touch on real quick. So uh, first, I'm going to show you guys a couple cool things we got. I got a few neat pairs of shoes. Uh, let me see. Oh, I forgot. Real quick. I want to show you guys. I found this thing the other day. Not sure if I showed you this. It's called the Breeze Collection. This little tub. It weighs a ton. Believe it or not, I might have told you guys this. If I did, I'm sorry. But this thing's worth like 300 bucks, which is just crazy to me. So... We got this. That was like it was like 50 cents. It's crazy. I found this guy right here. This is a uh, digital picture frame. I paid two dollars for that. Um, it's selling online for about 30. Uh, my wife might want to keep that though. I'm not sure. Um, let me see what else. We found a couple cool pairs of shoes. These are SAS. Very nice. These were up. You can see in there. SAS Triad, the Triple Comfort. These are kind of like, th these particularly are kind of like old lady shoes, but they're expensive. These shoes brand new are like over a hundred bucks. These used, even in this condition, I'll probably get like 50, 60 dollars for these. SAS is a great brand. If you see it, pick it up. We got these guys. There's nothing super special about these. They were just a dollar. Um, it's a pair of Nike Free 5.0s. They're youth size. These were a buck. I'll probably sell for 30 or 40. We got this colorful, very cool pair of women's Under Armour. I love these type of you know colors and stuff. They're Under Armour heat gear. Um, they're very very neat. I love the colors. I love that old 90s color scheme, Fresh Prince of Bel Air looking stuff. Um, so those were two bucks. I'll probably get 40 for them. Now these are something different. Um, these are from a brand called Movement. It's spelled M-O-V-M-T. Now these have this crazy kind of liner in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a like a faux fur Sherpa stuff on the inside. It's really cool. They're very unique. I've never quite seen anything like them. I don't really know what to think of them. Um, I found some comps on them. Um, it's looking like brand new. They might be like $75. Um, I just thought they were super cool. I was hoping they would fit me. Um, but we'll probably list them for like 30 bucks, say. It was really a shoe day. I got these PF Flyers. Anybody remember these guys? PF Flyers. These are youth PF Flyers, but they're very cool. Haven't seen a pair of actually PF Flyers that say PF Flyers in forever. Uh, they got nice soles. They're very well made. They're in excellent condition. I paid, uh, I think they were only like 50 cents actually. They didn't really know what they were, but um, those will probably sell for 30 bucks. Where is that modem? I found a modem somewhere. Oh, this was picked up the other day. This is brand new. This was like two bucks. I'm actually going to send this into Amazon. Uh, so this is going to go Amazon FBA. Um, this actually is going Amazon FBA as well. 
not eBay, Amazon FBA. Um, let's see what else. This is going Amazon FBA. Got two or three of these that I picked up from CVS on 90% clearance. That's an Amazon FBA item. Where are those little, uh, I got a few uh, Washington Capitals hockey player Christmas ornaments that are, uh, here's my kitty, Kit Kat, get off of there, get, go, go, Kit Kat, go, go. I love that cat, she's crazy. Um, okay, so anyway, what I was saying, I picked up the two Washington Capital little guys, 90% uh, off also, those will go for like, I think they were like $20 on Amazon FBA, so, uh, all right, and last but not least, this is the, does anyone remember Tom Hanks and Big, where they're in the FAO Schwartz in the middle of Manhattan, New York City, playing the piano with their feet? Well, this is it. This is the FAO Schwartz piano. Uh, it has the FAO Schwartz tags there, if you can see that. FAO Schwartz, this is really cool. I just want to show you guys this. Very cool. I just think that's really, really neat. I think, I mean, obviously you guys can see what that is there. Super cool, but um, this is selling on eBay for a hundred bucks. So I'm very happy about that. This I paid twelve dollars for. It's gonna go for a hundred. So there's that. All right. So that's what we got. Uh, at least that's a few of the things we got. Um. Oh, and I think I got this hat there too. This I got this recently. Maybe not the other day, but I got this new Ferrari hat that I totally love. Uh, the dollar. So what I want to talk about now is some of the things that we've been hearing online. And some of the things you guys might have seen on YouTube um, about some of the issues with eBay. I put an article up on Facebook a few days ago because eBay just released their um, sales figures and stuff for the past year and released how they're doing. Um, I don't know if you guys buy stocks or you know invest in anything like that you know stock trading or you know some people try to do the day trading thing and make money or whatever but I, I don't do any of that but I do follow some guys that do it because I think it's kind of interesting um I do have an account on Robinhood where I buy different stocks um I've been buying up the marijuana stocks because I think that's going to be the next big thing but that's neither here nor there uh what I want to talk about now is this stuff so last year eBay reported a negative 6.9% decrease in items sold. And if I'm getting these numbers correctly, overall, that was a negative 3%. So, now they're still reporting profit, which doesn't exactly make sense to me. Um, but I think it has to do with the way that they're reporting different types of things and like what category everything falls into. Um, somebody else would be better off explaining that to you, not me. But um, what I want to talk about is just the trend that eBay is losing money or they're on a downward trend like they have been for the past few years. And um, the way that they're trying to recover is by taking it out of us the sellers um so they already did the tax thing the state taxes now they're taking it out whatever they're blaming a lot of the loss and profits on the tax the state taxes um but it's not that that's just you know uh, that's not real that's not what's really happening they're taking it right out of us that's the only plan that um what was his name why uh that stepped down um the only, that was his only plan, is just to take it out of the sellers. The promoted listings crap this past year has been a fiasco. It screwed up our sales for weeks, sometimes almost a month at a time. Things aren't showing up. It seems like we're being, uh, I don't want to say lied to, but we're being intentionally misled about what is supposed to happen with promoted listings, how it's supposed to happen. I think... Um, 
some of the other people expose what was going on and if they didn't do that that's a shout out to rally roots like if they didn't do what they did if ryan didn't do what he did um who knows when that would have been figured out i hope i'm giving credit to the right person i know i mean i know that ryan did that from rally roots ryan roots because i watched the video and that's what got me investigating into my promoted listings and uh what was being showed in search and what wasn't being showed showed in search because i promoted my whole freaking store I had like 2,000 listings and I promoted everything. And I saw an increase in sales, but at what expense? Um, another guy I watch is the Auction Professor. Uh, check his channel out if you don't know him. He has a lot of great information. He comes off as a very, very smart guy. I've been watching him for years. Um, but he's also a super big eBay seller that knows his stuff. Watch that guy, the Auction Professor. Um, but anyway, um, you know, it you got to be worried because i mean it's not don't freak out but you need to be a little worried because obviously ebay is selling less items they're less and less profitable now you guys know as sellers that we're paying more fees and making less money and we're putting out more money uh, it's the analogy that he used is that if you go to the thrift store and they start raising all their prices, what do you do? You go to a different thrift store. Uh, loyalty is non-existent in this day and age. And I mean, I'm directly quoting him right now, but it's true. Like I wanted, his video inspired my video. So I'm not copying you, my auction professor buddy, but uh, I'm just trying to get it out maybe to a couple other people that you wouldn't have reached, even though you got a much better reach than I do. But, um, Anyway, I just wanted to pass this on to people because it is something to be a little worried about. Um, I know people have seen ICE um, offering to buy eBay for like 50 million or whatever. I don't even know what it was. Five billion. I, I don't even know. I'm not going to claim to know that number. But um, eBay is not necessarily for sale. They just made an offer. Um, other people have made, other companies, you know, conglomerates have made offers before. Um, so that's not a weird thing really they just made an offer it doesn't mean they're going to accept it they didn't accept it, it doesn't mean that they're um going looking for buyers at them because they're not um but you got to think like all right here's basically what i'm getting at is that don't put all your eggs in one basket peoples mercari poshmark they're on the way up and I'm not saying that eBay is on the way down or out, but I mean, they're still the number two platform in the world to sell on. I, you know, Amazon being number one, that eBay being number two. Um, so, and you guys pretty much know that. I mean, yeah, you make more money on eBay than Mercari, um, but I've never listed every single thing that I have on Mercari. I had 2,000 listings on eBay. I did not even have a, well, I, I had a fraction of that on Mercari. And Poshmark, I have even less faith in because of what they did to me, basically by stealing a pair of expensive shoes from me flat out and then just ignoring me and then deleting my account because I threatened to take legal action because they stole my $900 pair of Red Octobers, uh, Yeezys, like Yeezy Red Octobers. But um, that's another video. Watch that down there, guys, my Poshmark video about their authentication and their thieves and... Um, who's that guy that uh that um the yeezy guy the guy uh the fake yeezy guy i, I can't even remember him right now and i'll talk about him in another video all right well i'm getting a rambling here but i, I just want to say don't put all your eggs in one basket you need to try to sell on multiple platforms um you know i've had ebay taken away from me and it has totally just killed me before that's why i try to spread it out now make yourself some other streams of income even if they're little trickling drops of water streams of income because if they took away ebay and that's where you got everything you're screwed so keep that in mind guys there's nothing to worry about uh there's nothing to panic about don't freak out don't start tearing your listings down don't start freaking don't you know stop anything just branch out look into some other streams of income 
find a way maybe to make some money with affiliate marketing, uh, you know, links or Amazon or I don't know. There's a lot of different things, guys. I try to post some other work from home things on my channel. Um, so, look, you know, look and try to just make yourself some other streams of income just in case. All right. Um, so that's it today, guys. Um, sorry for the lateness with this video. I know I said I will put one out Friday. I will be back with another video on Monday. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Dave Danger. We are the Chesapeake Bay Thrifters. My wife is somewhere at Walmart or something. Um, but yeah, we're the Chesapeake Bay Thrifters. I'm Dave Danger. Please come back and join us again. Thank you so much, my YouTube audience. Thank you.